Hey everybody, welcome back to Goodale Farm. Uh, nice day out today. I figured do some outside work. I think I have a repair I gotta work on. Thanks for tuning in. And a reminder, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so. Last I saw, we're actually above 100 subscribers. So congratulations and thank you for your support. So subscribe, like the videos, make comments. Always appreciate your support and feedback. Uh, something happened with my mailbox here, the door of it. Uh, seems to be broken, but here's the weird thing I, I'm baffled by. I mean, you would think you'd go to close it, but it's the wrong way. It's almost like this face needs to be flipped upside down. And when I look at like the hinges here, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it fell off and the, the, the postman tried to fix it or something, but. All right, uh, this mailbox has served me well. It's got to be at least 20 years old. I painted it too many times over. The inside tray is busted. The door obviously is shot at this point. I think it's time to get a new one. All right, I figured it out. There's actually three rivets. One, two, three. The two outside are busted. The middle one's in place. So if we turn it this way, there we have it. Actually, I might be able to fix this if I just put new rivets in there. Hmm. Huh. Let me see what's available online. Maybe I get one uh, real cheap, used, or um, available. You know, while I'm at it, I really need to do some repair on this post. I built this post, uh, again, 15, 20 years ago. And what I did was I modeled it after some of the... Uh, the posts you see online or sold locally. I intentionally made this out of 100% pressure treated wood. Um, a lot of times posts rot, especially in the ground. So I think I did pressure treated. Then I put like tar on the bottom there. So this thing's gonna last a pretty long time. But if you notice up top here, some of the trim has come undone. Good news is I was able to find it as it falls on the ground. Um, so, um, I'll tighten this up some, pretty it up, see what, what I got for paint, uh, check loose fasteners, and take care of this old girl. Now, one of the changes we've seen just in our society is the uptick in home delivery packages. And a lot of times, the delivery people deliver it to your mailbox. Now, I'm in a rural area, so the mailbox is on the street. And even though I have a pretty decent sized mailbox, man, they shove those packages in there, boxes that have no right trying to fit in there, they get in there. And the fact is, mailboxes, they just can't handle that. All right, I looked out. I looked online, my uh, local uh, community here. Got this box for 10 bucks. Thing normally goes for probably 60, 70 dollars. It's a much bigger one. It's called a rural number two size. Brand new, the only blemish is a little bit of dent here. I don't know why the guy was selling it. Uh, I picked it up, it's gray. Um, let me take the old one off, put this one on and see if it fits well. Actually, that box looks pretty good on there. I was concerned that the pole height wasn't enough. Now, being honest, this trim, I had to take this trim off to fit that in. But I think I can work with uh, shaving that down a little bit. Heck, I might even just remove the trim since you know, two or three of them are removed. Maybe it's just this one and it would be good to go. It'll look fine. I do have to expand the base that it sits on because that base is much more narrow than uh, this mailbox here. It's really designed for the smaller ones. So when you put them side by side, let's see what we got here. Much different size. It's, it's higher, it's longer, it's wider. All right, we have the base here. Looks to be 
seven and three quarters. And then the base of the new mailbox. 11 inches. So that's three and a quarter that I gotta fill. And if I uh, divide it by two, that means roughly an inch and a half strip on each side, about 20 inches long. I think I have some scrap. All right, got a nice piece of scrap pressure treated here. I'm gonna rip an uh, inch and five eighths strip, come down. It's, it's more than the, the 40 inches I need. At, you know, I need two at 20. All right, let me measure it out, get a cut. All right, let's see what we got. Put these two together, it should be three and a quarter. Yeah, that's pretty close. I think we should get it there. Might be snug, but let's try it out. All right, we're both sides on. Let's see what we're talking here. Yeah, it's at 11. All right, so let's uh, bring the box over and see how she fits. Fits like a glove, beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna take it off, wipe down the post, put some paint on it, uh, get ready to screw it in. All right, there we have it. Final product came out really well. Only 10 bucks again. Painted the pole, fastened everything is up. Looks great. All right, buddy, that job is done. Rural mailbox number two. I guess that's the size, if you're interested. Uh, I lucked out. Uh, it's a gray one, matches our house. 10 bucks. Anyway, have a great day. Mm -hmm.